All right, we're going to continue looking at cylinders uh, in this section, and we're going to look at how to test a cylinder, or a single fault that we can look for. Cylinders are made up of a cylinder barrel, which is represented in this rectangle around the outside, and also our piston and rod assembly that sits in the middle, and this is the bit that moves up and down. And one of the faults that's quite common on a cylinder is we have little seals that sit in here and seal the oil from one side of the piston to the other. Which means that when I direct oil from my directional control valve and I send it into the front of my into the sorry the extension port of the cylinder, the seal prevents it from getting into that side. And then as it extends, all the oil that's in this side, the annulus area, can then return out back through the valve and ultimately back down into the hydraulic tank. So that's the operation. When I return my, my valve to neutral though, I usually want my cylinder to hold its position. And sometimes you get this thing called cylinder drift or cylinder drop, where if I'm holding something up, say it's a loader or something, I might be lifting it up in the air, over time it actually starts to drop down. And one of the causes for that can be that these seals here wear out. And what we end up with is we end up with oil from the front or from the back switching sides and allowing that piston to move with the oil that's just within the cylinder itself. And so as a fitter we would get called out and we would be asked, or a mechanic, to look at this and try and prove whether it's the cylinder leaking or whether it's the valve leaking or whether it's some other issue going on with the hydraulic system. And there are many methods to test a cylinder. I'm only going to look at one today. It's one that I've used quite a lot. It's one that has been very successful for me and it's got some good advantages. The method I'm going to show you involves removing this back hose, capping it, capping it on this side, and then operating the system. So literally all you need to do this test is two plugs to put on the existing hoses that are there. Let's give it a demonstration. Here is my cylinder on the bench. I've got a directional control valve here. I push it for extension. I pull it for retraction. So my cylinder operates. But my operator has told me that he's suspicious that this cylinder is bypassing. So I come out to test it. And all I do is I walk up and remove this back hose. And with these particular fittings that we're using, that is already now capped off. And this is already capped off because they're quick connect couplings with check valves. Which means all I've got now is this hose here connected in my cylinder. As I've represented on the board, only the retraction port is connected. Now what this means is, when I send oil from my valve into that port there, it's going to fill up this area. If the seals are not leaking, it will only fill that area and nothing will happen. But if that seal is leaking, the oil will not only go into the front, but it will also enter the back. And if oil goes into the front and the back, the surface area on the back of the piston is the full surface area. But the surface area in here is only the surface area outside of the rod. So what we end up with is we end up with oil here pushing this way and oil there pushing that way. Except for in the middle here where the rod is, everything's pushing that way. And what will actually happen, even though I'm only sending oil into the retraction port, if the seals leak, that oil will come around, push in that middle area, and actually extend my cylinder. And let's see if it does. So I now want to pull my DCV, which puts it into retract, and observe the rod. Oops. And you can see now that my rod is actually extending. And the reason, again, is the oil that goes in here is traveling down into the void in the annulus area. 
it's traveling over the damaged piston seals into the piston end of the cylinder. And because it is a larger surface area, it is enabling it to actually push the piston out and extend the rod. And this simple test, which involves only a cap and a plug onto an existing fitting and hose, uh, has been used, I've used it many times uh, to do a very, very simple, quick test to see if that cylinder is bypassing. So it's quite a simple cylinder test. It doesn't cover every single situation, but it's certainly a very, very useful test to have up your sleeve.